Hello, gorgeous. It's Valentine's Day. I used to throw up in my mouth when it was Valentine's Day. I was like, yuck, forced, commercialized, celebrating of love. Love knows no bounds. Love should not be forced into one single day. I, especially as like a teenager, really rejected the commercialization of holidays and forced gift giving and I hated it. I hated it so much. It has taken a lot of reprogramming and expanding the good that I could see to come to peace with holidays, the traditional Christian holidays that, you know, tend to be overly commercialized, Christmas, Easter, um, and Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day right now. And if you know me at all, it might weird you out that I would be kind of anti-Valentine's Day because that was just maybe unlike me because I'm usually very positive. Everyone's like, you're so positive all the time. And everyone's like, and you love love. But I didn't like being told that this day was the day to love. I didn't like being told that I needed to buy people presents. So it was a very... What is even the word? Like, I was anti-authoritarian in my rejection of it. And I think working in the restaurant and service industries for about a decade certainly didn't help because it was really high stress on Valentine's Day. But I don't mind it now. And I think that's because of an evolutionary love that is in my life, right? And so I wanted to talk about evolutionary love. What the heck is evolutionary love? We hear about romantic love. We hear about, um, you know, friendship love. There's like the eros, the agape. There's divine love. What about evolutionary love? It's my absolute favorite. And I hope that you have evolutionary love in your life. If you do not, I hope that you find it someday. And evolutionary love is not with any one particular person, but it's the kind of love that makes you grow because it challenges you. It challenges you to be more. It challenges you and sometimes it breaks your heart wide open and it inspires you to be better, to do better, to become more. It's the egg that busts you out of your shell and supports you in becoming more of who you really are. And I have evolutionary love in my life in so many ways. My husband, he's an evolutionary partner. We are not twin flames. Mine is not incarnate on this planet. But my husband and I have been together for 13, 14 years now. And we push each other to grow. We hold space for the other person to grow maybe is a better term. It's not a push. It's not like a physical pushing, but it's the souls coming together to support each other, to learn and to grow. And so often it's because we have a different perspective, an opposite perspective at times. It is this opportunity for us to understand that there is another point of view. And because we love and respect the other person, we don't automatically dismiss it. We go, okay, maybe I can crack my perception open and see what this person is talking about. Maybe I can open it up a little bit. I can see where they're coming from. And there are times when that other person's opinion is infuriating or it's just, it's so opposite to what you know and hold dear that you're like, mm, this can't be right. But if you love someone in this evolutionary way and you hold them in esteem and you just back off and you take the breaths to go, where are they coming from? Then you can open your mind and your heart and your perspective to see from their point of view. You can step into that empathic role of going, where, where are they coming from? So you, you try it on and you go, oh, if I was coming from the same place, then I might hold the same opinion. And the craziest thing in evolutionary love is that it will not split you 
it, like I said, it'll crack you open, but then it just expands your beingness to hold more, to hold more perspectives, to hold more empathy, compassion, love, understanding. And then it spills out into other people as well. Cause you're like, wow, if I can see this person's point of view, if I, I can see my husband's point of view, my evolutionary partners, maybe I can expand into more of that with other people. I have beautiful girlfriends who I have an evolutionary love with. The love that is one that spurs us on to grow and to try new things, right? It, it's not like the love is challenging you, but the love is holding you so that you feel safe enough to first off receive being held. That's important, right? And also to be yourself. You get to practice being yourself and not having to explain every bit of you or defend yourself so you can soften into that. That's the kind of love that, yeah, I have with my husband, but I have some beautiful girlfriends like, you know, Nina and Nicole and so many other beautiful women in my life that I feel like I can be held enough and soften enough to grow into more of who I am. There's evolutionary love available with our families, right? And sometimes that can be in the person that maybe spurs you on, right? That like challenges you to do more. Maybe that's a parent, maybe it's a sibling. Maybe they're double dog daring you to grow and learn. Or maybe you learn and grow out of spite. <laughs> and it can still be this beautiful evolutionary love. But I think the one evolutionary love that is beyond anything I've experienced is with my daughter. My stepdaughter as well, my bonus daughter. She was the first that expanded me and cracked my heart open. So I got to learn what it was like to have that kind of maternal energy and the maternal love. But she challenged me to grow in ways that were mm, just unexpected, right? She actually presented me a mirror for a lot of my own stuff. <laughs> and I'm forever grateful for that. And then my other daughter, who is six now, turning six in a month or two, actually. I had actually declared to the universe just before her conception at a beautiful festival called Astral Harvest that I had been at, I had been performing at, I had been connecting with other friends, I had been teaching, facilitating, like I was doing all the things and it was the most perfect weekend and I had beautiful times dancing with old friends and making connections with new friends and I remember being out on the dance floor where I always feel the closest to the all that is, to all of creation and I remember looking up at the stars and just feeling my heart crack open and I declared I am ready to experience new dimensions of love. I just put that out there. I was like, I am ready. I'm ready for more. And you know what happened when I got home to my husband who had stayed home? Conceived my, our daughter, just, you know, the very next day, basically, when I got home. She felt that declaration, my heart open. And then she was like, Choo! sneak right in there. She was waiting. For me to be ready. I did not know I was calling her in. I had met her many times in meditations and visions, but I wasn't fully sure if I wanted to be a mom. I was pretty sure I did, but I hadn't fully committed to it yet. It was always something far off in the future. And that moment I opened my heart to love and I called in more love, there she was. And she cracked my heart open even wider. This evolutionary love that taught me like, unconditional infinite love and I was like oh oh I feel like this is what the mother goddess feels for all of creation and I could understand it in this form and it is the kind of love this evolutionary love that makes me want to continue being a better person it wants me to heal this evolutionary partnership is supporting me in becoming more of myself while I hold space for her to become more. I think her ears are burning. So the love that I have in my life for all of these beautiful people is evolutionary in different ways. This one has taught me infinite patience. Is there anything that you want to tell people about love? 
What would you like to say about love? Because you love Valentine's Day. Any excuse for a party? Um, love means that you should, like, always love other people. Love yeah. means that you should always love other people. You heard it here first. So, evolutionary love. Is there any other kind? I don't know. Love is a thing that spurs us on to greatness. So if you don't have evolutionary love in your life, I dare you to declare that you are ready for it and see what happens. Talk to me next Valentine's Day. Have a beautiful rest of your evening. Love going your way from our hearts. And now I'm going to take care of this one and put her to bed.